So boys and girls, our starters for today's lesson is all about contracted words. Now contracted words are words that are formed from two other words and are pushed together and apostrophe is used in the place of any letters that are taken out. Now as you can see from the sentences that I wrote just earlier, I've written down I am really enjoying this show and I've also written I'm really enjoying this show. So hopefully you've figured out already that the contracted word in this instance is I'm, okay? Because I've gone from I am, two separate words, pushed them together, taken out the A, and then we've replaced it with an apostrophe to form our contracted word of I'm. For our starter activity today, all I'm going to be using is, are some blocks like this and a whiteboard pen. Now if you've got some Lego blocks or anything like that, that's going to be absolutely great. Or if not, you can just do it on a whiteboard or a piece of paper, whatever you've got to hand. So what we're going to do, we're going to write the two parts of our contracted words here and here, and then put them together, put in our apostrophe to form the contracted word at the top like that okay so our chili one starter we are going to start off with the words I am what would the contracted word be from I am remember pause this video anytime give yourself enough time to think I want you to really think about that apostrophe placement think about the letter that is being taken out and the apostrophe that is replacing it. So I am becomes I'm. Well done if you got that one right. Our second one for Chili One is going to be she is. She is a wonderful singer. She is. What would the contracted word be from she? is well done she's she's a wonderful singer still the same meaning just a contracted version of it and our final one for chili one is going to be do not do not give up What's the contracted word to come from those two words? Don't! Don't give up! And you can see our apostrophe there is showing that we've taken out that O and pushed those two words together. Well done. Moving on to Chili 2 now. Let's give these a rub. Mm, right, let's go for was not was not was not becomes that's right wasn't well done if you've got that first one right for chili too our next one Hmm. You are. You are a wonderful friend. What 
the contracted word. You are becomes your. You're a wonderful friend. And our last one on Chili 2. Hmm, let's go for. Could not. Could not. I could not believe it. Could not becomes. Couldn't. Okay, moving on to Chili 3 then. Hmm. Let's start off with a tricky one. We're just going to do two on Chili 3. So, first one. Must not. Must not. Well done if you've got this one right. Excellent. Push them together, taking out the O, and the apostrophe has gone in its place there to, to become mustn't. And our last one for our starter activity today. What have? What have? What have you come as for World Book Day? What have? What's the contraction there? That's right. What have? What have you come as? Alright then, year three. Our learning objective for today is to use a range of conjunctions. Now, why do we do that? We use conjunctions in our writing because they link two parts of a sentence and it allows us to have good variety within our writing. We can have some short sentences and we can have some more complex sentences as well. Now, just like in the road, there's our road. A junction in a road. Here's our junction. This junction links two roads together. Okay? And if we use conjunctions within our writing, that links two parts of a sentence. We've now added some conjunctions to our road junction. We have got because, however, so, otherwise, but, although, and if. Hmm. I'm going to start off by using a bullet point as part of, of my set of instructions and then I'm going to think about the first instruction that I want to give. So I'm going to go for choose A suitable side pot so that your plant have space to grow. So there's my first one, and within that, I have used one of these conjunctions. Hopefully you've spotted it. I have used so and it's linked this part of the sentence to this part of the sentence. Choose a suitable size pot so that your plant has space to grow. So I've used that one. Second one I'm going to go for is add compost because 
Okay. Will provide your plant. With nutrients. Now again, I've used another conjunction in this one. Hopefully, you spotted it. It is because that is up there. Now, I'm not saying that every single one of your instructions will have a conjunction in it because some of them are just very short and simple. But some of them you might choose to include a conjunction within there. Okay, now it's your turn, year three. So, chili one, what I'd like you to do is to fill in the blanks in each of these sentences using the conjunctions that we've talked about. So we have got, push your seed into the soil. It is covered. Choose the correct conjunction to go in the gap. Next one, water it regularly. Don't overwater it. Decide on the conjunction to go in that gap. Okay, chili two. What I'd like you to do is to write some gardening top tips containing conjunctions and also some of the contracted words that we looked at in the starter. So things like don't and lots of the other ones that we talked of before as well. Finally, Chili 3, what I would like you to do is to write a set of instructions for how to plant using conjunctions, contractions and also adverbs. So particularly LY words, maybe talking about carefully placing things into the soil. That's what I'm looking for from you guys. Okay, your steps to success are as follows. Use bullet points so that each of your points is nice and clear. To use conjunctions to link two parts of a sentence. And then a little challenge for you, can you include at least two contracted words within your work? Good luck, year three. Can't wait to see them.